going to be checking out this can of lifeboat and life raft rations from World War II. Now these were first produced in 1942 for the United States Coast Guard, Merchant Marines, and the U.S. Navy. This one was packed March 1945. Now this ration was part of a more comprehensive kit. It also included canned water, a fishing kit, desalinator, signal flares, and also a first aid kit along with protection from the sun and elements. Actually, here's a can of the lifeboat and life raft rations water. This one's empty. It's never been opened, it's just right here there's some corrosion and the water evaporated. You would get three cans of this water for every one can of food. Now this water was packed October 1944. You'd puncture a hole here. Not the most efficient of designs. By the 1960s, you'd have smaller cans of water and these make a lot more sense. If you accidentally dropped it or lost it, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully you have more of them. This one was packed by the Multiple Breaker Company, Garwood, New Jersey, approved by the United States Coast Guard. Contents are seven ounces each of pemmican, ration C, chocolate, and malted milk. No hiss. Whoa, look at that. It smells perfect. These things usually aren't in this good of shape. That's awesome right there. Those look like Hershey's Tropical Bars. You get a bunch of biscuits. This is your ration C. And then, wow, look at these chocolate bars. Look at that. Hershey's Tropical Chocolate with red text that's only World War II. Most of the time you'll see blue. Hershey's Tropical Chocolate in red text is extremely rare. Hershey's Tropical Chocolate in mint condition. You know, that this chocolate bar is worth, I don't know, maybe 75 bucks. At least 50, just for the one. In that shape, I'm not even joking. And they're all like that. I can't believe it. So each one is two ounces. Now here's the ration biscuit box, and it's kind of strange. I guess it was always like that. I don't think it happened when I opened it with this, but that's what these would be in. Let's set them back in there for a moment, make it official. Look how cool that looks. Ration biscuit. Okay, so they give you a half portion. The ration biscuit box originally was 14 ounces. This was packed in Mobile, Alabama. I just wish I knew what division, you know, that was, but that's okay. Oh, there's another tropical chocolate bar in there. And here's malted milk tablets. You probably get seven of those. Look at this. I, I have never seen one of these in such good shape. Look at that can. Okay, and these, these cans, this is this is your pemmican. And this is bulged. Not a good sign. Emergency ration pemmican M1. Packed by Master Brands LTD, Los Angeles, California. The ingredients for this three and a half ounce can is seedless raisins, peanuts, evaporated apples, dextrose, vegetable shortening, vanilla extract, and salt. This kind of stuff, it doesn't last forever. I mean, it's a shame, I wish it did. Probably not even going to put my face near the pemmican. Look at, look at that key came off the one. Keys on the side. Yeah, they're they're just brimming with botulism. I always love saying that, but it's true. This is definitely not safe to eat. The rest of it is. 
I can't even believe this. I didn't expect it to be in this good of shape. I thought I was just going to open this thing and show everybody. Didn't really expect any of it to be in, at least not in this condition. This is amazing. Okay, so you get four two-ounce Hershey's Tropical Chocolate Bars. That's actually an ounce extra. Everything else is right on point for weight. Yeah, malted milk tablets. Ingredients, malted milk with two-tenths of 1% stearic acid. Beech Nut Packaging Company, Canajahari, New York. Okay, so there's everything laid out. That's looking pretty good. All right, so let's get this out on your tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with checking out those ration biscuits. So you get 14 biscuits. They smell a little bit stale and bleachy. A Hershey's Tropical Bar. I can't believe it. Look at that. I mean, some surface bloom, but that's nothing. That is the most beautiful Hershey's Tropical Bar I've ever seen from that era. I mean, that is, it's kind of like waxy feeling. It smells great. That's incredible. That is perfect packaging. When these things blow it out, they, they break the outer wrapper and it's just you know, it turns into brittle and all that. And then malted milk tablets. I see these in this condition, they sell for about 30 or 40 each. These in this condition, because usually they're bloated even more, very presentable, about 30 bucks each. I'm not exaggerating, this is like a gold mine. I mean, for ration collectors and people, this is just amazing. So that's why I'm so excited. I mean, seeing this, in this condition. Incredible. These smell fine. Everything smells like the chocolate, actually. And the chocolate's perfect. Foil wrapped and parchment paper wrapped. Yeah, malted milk tablets. It's a great whole food was first invented in 1873 by James Horlick. And he patented, I think, in 1883, 10 years later. And they're used a lot in World War I. Look at that. So that's what I'm going to open right now. And after I try this stuff out, we'll open up the pemmican last. So where do I start? Let's go for a malted milk tablet first. Hmm. Wow. Those are delicious. Lightly sweet with a strong flavor of malt. And the dry milk is perfectly preserved. It gets caught in your teeth. These would be great if you were out on a raft. You needed something that's nourishing and not thirst provoking. You can eat these slowly. Or if you're really hungry, you can just chew down. Yeah, the biscuits or ration C. They're they're bleaching and stale. Hmm. Whoa. But they taste fine. These might have always smelled like that. I mean, because the way it tastes, it's just like a really bland wheat biscuit with a fair amount of shortening and it's not really dry and thirst provoking. It actually has, hmm, a pretty nice texture. The shortening didn't even go rancid. Yeah, I've had biscuits from other survival and emergency rations from the era and they're either really stale or if they're not, they're just really dry and flavorless hardtack. This is, this isn't bad. I 
can't believe it. It's not for that Hershey's Tropical Bar. It smells perfect. Excuse me. Let's try that bite again. It's rock solid. Wow. I've never had a Hershey's Tropical Bar that fresh. And I've had some from the 50s, 60s, and the 70s. None of them were in this good of shape. Hmm. It tastes almost identical to Field Ration D. Maybe a little bit more sweet. And it just tastes like a... a moderately sweet milk chocolate with something that makes it more firm and hard to chew and that's oat flour. I mean it says right here chocolate sugar skim milk powder cocoa fat oat flour artificial flavoring vitamin B1. The oat flour is what kept this so solid and that's what you know hence the term tropical chocolate designed to withstand tropical temperatures. I've said it a million times, my apologies for the repetition, but that's what it is. You know, and they had to have some kind of chocolate that wouldn't melt in that can. If they just put regular Hershey's chocolate in there, it would have melted on everything else and been just like a weird liquid reformed a million times kind of, you know, mess. And now for the malted milk tablets. If, listen, if these things weren't worth $40 a piece, I would just eat them all. I mean, like, yeah, I need to save them for my display, and I have one, like, right here. That's not in as good a shape. I can't remember what I got that out of. But, yeah, they're awesome. A perfect whole food you could live off these things I mean you know fat protein and carbohydrates calcium I'm probably gonna open one more of these I really shouldn't be saying that out loud but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat probably all of them oh, man no I shouldn't probably going to but anyway Horlicks tablets were really actually a nice morale boosting addition to the World War I Doughboys, you know, field ration. Back then, you know how nowadays you can send care packages to soldiers. Back in the day, they'd do the same thing. You could buy Horlicks tablets, you know, malted milk tabs, and they'd be in these little tins, and they would send them out to soldiers. You could just pay for them, and they'd send them out. Mm. Again, a strong overtone of malt and moderately sweet and with dry milk that isn't spoiled in the slightest bit. Man, I can't stop eating them. Food was different back then. I mean, this is a lot of the most processed type stuff you'd come across, but most foods were very wholesome and um, natural. You know, it was before you know, a lot of the additives nowadays. Well, this pretty much sums it up. I'm going to go back to the biscuit. Hmm. You know, after eating malted milk tabs and that chocolate, I'll kind of have the taste of both, and that goes along with this. They, they go hand in hand. None of these components really kind of, you know, counteract with any of the others flavor-wise. If you were in a desperate situation, this is enough food survival-wise, like minimal caloric intake, 
enough food for probably a week for one guy. Or, you know, six or seven guys on a raft could eat off this one tin for the day, and they'd get issued, you know, typically issued three of those cans of water to go along with one can of this. So you'd have, let's just say, six guys, one can of this, three cans of water. They'd be passing around the cans of water, probably one at a time, so in case it falls and spills out somewhere, like, it's not the end of the world. But it would be enough for at least one day. And the thing is, if you had a fishing kit, you could get your protein that way. If you got a fishing kit, you're covered. These things, this will actually be the best food you'd be eating. I mean, a lot of raw fish, that's actually not bad. I'd, I'd have fun with that, but a lot of people probably wouldn't. This is so perfectly preserved that I'm like, I mean, I went into this hungry. I really did. I, I, I just ate a bunch of dried fruit for the last several hours and did a bunch of cardio, but, so I'm really hungry. But I, I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself probably too much here. Wow. I, I'm gonna finish this real quick, hold on. Man, when perfectly fresh, Hershey's Tropical Chocolate is amazing. I'm going to take these, set them to the side. You know, this is actually one of the freshest and also one of the most unexpected World War II rations I've opened yet. I mean, really, a lot of times these things, I've seen them open before, and they're like dust. There's another MRE reviewer, his name is B Temple. He's up in Canada, really cool guy, good friend of mine. Well, well B Temple, he opened one of these. I'll link his video and check out the difference between a well-stored one here and then his, which was just like dust when you opened it. It was unreal. I might not finish that actually, but I am going to eat these because I'm just gonna stand here eating them. Okay, and now for the pemmican. I'm gonna throw a mask, I got my gloves on. I don't feel like spinning the wheel today. These things, they're not safe to open without a mask, so hold on, one sec. Okay, it's on, there we go. Lift that tab. Thanks, hiss. Did that just shoot something on the lens? Look at that. It did. I'm glad I'm wearing the mask. Yeah, you can't play around. Look at that. That's a peach. Look at the fat. That's awesome. Something so dangerous. Just in the same can as all that stuff that's, you know, perfectly fine and edible. I mean, jeez, look at that. Look at the peanuts. I wish I could smell it, but again, it's not worth it. I'm telling you, stuff like this. When I throw the mask on, you gotta, you gotta take my advice. It's really the only way to. Wow. Okay. The peanuts are black. They look like coffee beans. So that's it. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing you can do with it. It probably smells very sweet and fruity. And. Botulism is odorless. You can't tell. Like, when you get into something, you're like, oh, this is fine. It's not. You're, you're going to get sick, and you're going to have a drooping eye, and, like, you're going to be all delirious. Next thing you know, you're going to have to go up to the hospital to get onto an IV. You know, it, I'm telling you. Just certain things are fun in life. That's not one of them. Oh, that's so cool. 
Look at that fat. So yeah, that's the little hazmat part of the review. We're the halfway edible. No longer going to eat that now. Biscuit right next to it. Well, there you go. This was a World War II lifeboat and life raft rations. What an experience. And a great look into a ration that you'll see these turn up for years to come. But for the most part, when you do, they will not be in this good of shape. This is like a very rare look into a, a very mass-produced ration for World War II. The, these, these lifeboat and life raft rations were on every single boat. These were produced all the way up until the 1970s. These things are floating around, and they will be for a long time. It's just a matter of actually finding one that's in this kind of condition. It's just incredible. So there you go. The end of this review. This is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. We're old. All right, cool. See ya.